excited to do to be a part of Invisible Children if you guys choose me to be Rhodey. This role is kind of specifically made for me. I love being on the road and um, love talking with people and sharing the love of Christ and just showing what the kingdom is all about. Um, a place that I really love to be at um, while I'm home here in Cedar Falls is the Rogers House, Walt and Jenny. They've been in college and high school ministry for um, quite a few years now. And they're just really loving people. They show us love and in turn that makes us want to share Christ's love. Wait, can I introduce myself? Yes. I want to say Jess is an amazing person. Even though she might not know it, but she's really helped me grow in my faith. She's such a great role model for just young people. If she gets to work with you guys, she just, she'll be such a good influence on the people that she talks to. I love you, Jess. And I went to high school with her. Before I knew her, I just thought she was going to be some average high school student. I got to know her over the past couple of years, and she just has a fire for Christ like none other. Jess? Alright. Uh, Jess Taylor is not just another one of your applications. Jess isn't just another girl who gets up on Sunday mornings tries to refrain from saying a couple of swear words. Jess really understands what it means to be after the heart of God, and she is living out the gospel in her life. And if she goes one day with falling into the ways of this world and just sitting back and taking life as it is and not grabbing it uh, with God by her side, like she can't, she can't stand that. She wants to be out in the world making a difference being God's hand to take. If I were going to go on the road, I'd choose my friend Stephen Vanquist. Um, he's part of YWAM San Francisco. Ever since I knew that I was going to do um, a DTS, a discipleship training school, he's really pushed me to go above what I think I can do for myself, whether it be talking to people or um, turning, turning our homework in or whatever it might be. Like He really pushed me. He encompasses everything that I love um, in a friend. He's always there to listen. He's always there to um, help me achieve what I want to achieve. So a road trip with him would be a plus. Something that excites me would be music. I love to listen to music. I just play bass guitar. No matter what genre, everything from country to like hardcore and metal, like I can get into it. A lot of my friends are either on the worship team at church or in a band and it's just it's a fun atmosphere to be around. You can convey so many different messages in music. Music just really it speaks to me and it just it makes me happy. Something that really, really excites me um, is having the opportunity to see people come to Christ. It's something that I've been privileged enough to see a couple times now. Um, being over in Thailand and Vietnam during my discipleship training school. We saw quite a few people come to Christ, and it was just such an amazing experience to see them go from being such a lost soul and just not not knowing their place in the world, having no joy in their life, not knowing what their life meant, to spending a couple days with them and sharing Christ's love and just laying the gospel on them and being able to just speak truth into their lives and just just show them love in a way that. They, they would leave thinking, like, what, what was that? Like, I've never experienced that before. And one girl that I got the opportunity to do that with, she came up to me after she had accepted Christ, and she was just beaming from ear to ear, and just, she said, I, I feel free. Like, I finally feel free. And it, it was just beautiful, and that, it just excites me. It, it gives me goosebumps just thinking about it, and it, it's something that I want to keep doing, speaking truth and sharing the gospel.